Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my video or back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Morgan and I'm a sixth grade math and science teacher and I also love all things Disney and on today's video we're going to be doing the cookie stroll. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, so I you might notice I'm not at Epcot right now. Um, I am editing my video for tomorrow. So when you're watching this, I literally edited it, edited it the night before. And I realized I, one, didn't have an intro. Two, kind of had an outro. But my camera died. So I'm going to be giving you guys some, um, like, kind of instruction like I'm gonna like basically explain what it is and then we'll get to the actual footage and everything um so basically what this is um you haven't seen my festival of the holidays video that'll be coming out tomorrow um so stay tuned for that hit the subscribe button down below but basically um the cookie stroll what it is is it's um something at Epcot that you get to do kind of like um the Remy's Ratatouille uh Remy's Ratatouille cheese fromage thing that they did for food and wine and like they kind of always have something um, where around the different booths you get to eat a bunch of different things and um, this one for festival of the holidays is always the cookie stroll so there's five different cookies that you have to get and you have a passport that you get to um, collect stamps and use them and so we tasted every single cookie and that's basically what this video is about and what you're about to see um, because that's kind of um, what we did and so I hope you guys like it um, and let's get on to the video <laughs> so we fit, hit our first cookie booth which was the Lala Kamaliki Maki which my best friend works so we got the uh, black and white cookie Wait. it's kind of like lemony what did you call this book? It's Le Chame. Oh, Le Chame. Whatever. Oh Melakaliki Maki? I don't know. I really want to go to the Melakaliki Maki. And then we also have... So, in all the craziness of everything, I never actually said how this cookie was. Um, and I realized I never filmed my sister saying it either, or I can't find the footage. Um, but basically, we thought the black and white cookie, which, by the way, the booth was put pronounced La Hayam. How we didn't get that, I have no idea. But it's pronounced La Hayam, and um, the black and white cookie, which is the first one we had, was there, and it was very lemony. Um, and I don't, I'm not a lemon person. It was not, it was not good. We did not like it. Um, the icing melted completely off of it, and it was messy, lemony, gross. So if you like lemony, it might be for you, but my personal opinion, even the chocolate could cover the taste of the lemon, so I didn't really like it. Alright guys, so we're kind of double dipping here, Nicole is at the Yukon booth right now, in line, waiting to get her cookie. I went to Holiday Hearts because it was like so much quicker, um, and then, so she's getting the cookie from there, and I got the cookie from the Holiday Hearts, which is a little gingerbread man so cute and then we also got this spaceship earth cookie can't wait to try that it's like a salted it's like a salted caramel cookie so so excited to try it and i'll we'll tell you how it is when we when she comes back with that cookie. so from yukon you get the uh snickers doodle cookie so it has snickers on top and then it's like a supposed to be like a snicker doodle cookie Nicole ate the gingerbread head and I ate his arm. How do we think of it? It's gingerbread. Yeah, it's just gingerbread. I already ate part of the Spaceship Earth cookie, but Nicole's gonna eat it. I said just going from where I did because the filling's like all the way in the center. There are no chairs, honey. Oh, Good? Yeah, it's really sweet. It's very sweet. Very sugary. I'm gonna take a bite of this one. Actually, I'm going to break this piece off so I can see where you're going to get me. Just going straight for the center, 
Very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> you look I'm, miserable. I'm not a fan of Snickers. If you're a fan of Snickers, you might not like it. Wait, you don't like Snickers? I'm not. No. I like Snickers. Here, I'll try it. You look miserable eating that. Ugh. Don't care. Yeah, it's a cookie. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like Hopefully the next few are a little better. We're going to head over to Mexico and go that way. See the mischievous bar in Santa and we'll see you then. Alright guys, so we just went to the Germany booth of, what is it called? Uh, Bavaria. Bavaria. And we got the um, cookie for the cookie stroll. And then we also got the hard apple cider. The hard apple cider is so good, so sweet, so perfect. You want to try the cookie, Nick? Because you said you like the cookies. I do. The problem is the jam is all in the center. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it then. It's quite where I did it. I got the jam. It's so good. Mm. It's my favorite one every year. That's a really good cookie. I just wish there was more jam or jam that you could put on the side. But so good. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend that one. Definitely. So we are so close. We have one more. Two more? No, your okay. We have one more cookie and then we have the we have one more cookie to get and then we can get our final free cookie. So free. We're gonna go find Olaf in Germany. So the next cookie we my camera died at this point. So the next cookie I'm just gonna put a picture here. This cookie was a dove chocolate, double chocolate cookie, so it had a dove center with uh, the whole cookie was chocolate, and it was one of the best. So we ended up deciding that the Linzer was the best cookie, and then the stud chocolate one was the second best cookie that we had all day. And then when we went to redeem our prize, which is supposed to be like a little 50th sugar cookie, um, they were out. So we never got our prize. We ended up getting like hot chocolate and I think like something else. I forget what it was, but they gave us like little um, ornaments um, from the 25 Days of Christmas because that's who sponsored the cookie stroll this year. And um, we really liked it overall. I think it was nice to try a bunch of different cookies. However, um, I don't think that I would do it again. The gingerbread cookie was super stale, like super hard and tough. And um, we didn't like a lot of the cookies. We only liked the um, one from the America Pavilion, which was the Dove Chocolate, and the Germany one, which was the Linzer. So if you are someone that you know you don't like things like Snickerdoodle or Snickers or something like that, what you can do is when you go to the booth, you can buy more than one of each cookie and get that amount of stamps. So if, for example, if we went back and we bought two Linzer cookies, you could get two stamps for that and that would count as two of your cookies towards your five to redeem, rather than going uh, tasting every single cookie. You don't have to do that, which is what I would definitely recommend. The festival's only running a few more weeks, so I think two more weeks. So definitely, if you are going, I would highly, highly recommend doing that. But overall, that's the video for today. I hope you liked it, and I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And stay tuned to the very, very, very end because right after this is going to be um, the, I'm going to give you guys a little, I'm just going to include it in this video. Um, but stay tuned to the very end to see the Living with the Land layover of uh, for Christmas. So, hope you guys like it and definitely subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a magical day. How will we be tomorrow throwing meters for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your home at all times. Do not go get the cucumber. The cucumber's on your side.